Cooking in the kitchen, late night dinner. We're cooking, cooking in Tuesday. the kitchen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh boy, that was much, much worse. Well, we were still here after that delightful opening. <laughs> Welcome back to our channel, everyone. We keep it real around here. We are. You probably feel a little late in the night when yeah. we're all like looping like this. Let's just say work got away from us, but we're here, we're we, cooking, we we're are eating. We are putting on a video today, even if it's at night. And by we, I mean she's cooking. Oh yes, I <laughs> in the kitchen. But you guys, I am excited because I have the most delicious recipe today. Ooh, baby. All thanks to my darling sister, Michelle. Let's, Let's be real. Yeah. You. Every single time Michelle stays with us, she cooks the most delicious meals. I know, I'm like chopped liver when Michelle She cooking. is, Brittany is chopped liver, Michelle it's come true. back. She always has such good recipes, and she made this for Michelle, us. Britt. Okay, go back. Hey, that was really <laughs> Let's do them. <laughs> oh my gosh, but this is like such a simple, easy dinner to throw together. You can do a variety of different things with it. It's kind of like a spin off the viral feta pasta Ooh, bake. If you made delicious. that before, we use like a chunk of feta with mm -hmm. tomatoes and it makes the sauce. Similar concept, but we are using boars and cheese. Whoops. And so, if you remember, if it's our Costco haul this past week, Costco actually sells a three pack of it. So I'm using the garlic and herb cheese, and mm -hmm. you can also use the dairy free. So when Michelle's here, they actually have a dairy free kind, which is That's crazy. perfect. And yeah. we use that. So in case you're it was delicious. dairy free, you can yeah. still make this. But before we get into cooking, just want to say a huge thank you to everyone. Well, it's oh, like, time's over. Right. See you guys. Later. All right, see ya. <laughs> <laughs> no, just want to say a huge thank you to everyone who commented on our yesterday video just because you guys are amazing. Like, th thank you for all the amazing feedback that we received. Yes, so yeah. many of you guys were saying we should do reviews of the food we get at Costco yes. like the next day and reviewing just other things other than just Costco as well. Yeah. So stick around. I saw a comment there for a Taste Test Tuesday. I thought that was a creative Ooh, idea. Taste Test Tuesday, yeah. I kind of like that. Today's Monday, so. Yeah. We're taste testing a recipe maybe. Maybe but, when you know. see this, it's taste test Tuesday for you. <laughs> well, I'm super excited. I think that's gonna be awesome to find that. Speaking of that, I mean, we are kind of taste testing the boards and cheese. Ooh. Even though we've already had this, but it's delicious if you've never We had the dairy-free kind though. We didn't have this kind. Oh yeah, that's true. This one's yeah. probably a little bit creamy. So that looks like a cupcake almost. Oh yeah. It you know what I'm saying? Like that little cupcake thing that I've like. It does, like with holes. the tin foil things. Yeah. Um, but also, speaking of starting this video really quick, before I do oh, yes. the recipe, the mic, a lot of you guys are saying you love the mic, you couldn't believe the sound quality, especially out at the beach, which, same. We've never been able to do that, ever. We do apologize, we, don't, we didn't realize how loud sometimes if we like talked down like yeah. into the mic, how loud it was, so sorry I know. for those little moments. Yeah. But overall, it was awesome. And we honestly love the versatility of it. The thing I think I loved the absolute most was like syncing it up with our drone, and that way we were like yes. walking around, and it felt like we had like our own personal cameraman, but we didn't, like it was just the drone following us. It was so, so cool. Oh, it was awesome. So yeah. especially when we're outside, we will be vlogging that way. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Mic. Can I tell them my idea with the uh, mics in the outside? Oh, yes, please. Everybody, <laughs> everyone on pins and needles? I actually don't know what this is. You do. One thing that I thought it would be really fun to do is do a little scooter ride and bring you guys along with us because now we can do that. So, would you know the drone saying? be following us? Yeah, the drone's following us and we're talking and we, like, we don't have to worry about filming anything because the drone's already doing that. Plus, we can talk in addition to that. Oh. We can like show you around and like show you houses and this, that, and the other. That would actually be really cool. I think that would be really cool. Do a little tour of like Fort Lauderdale. Or yeah. Like, hey, you could do this scooter rider bike ride if you come here on vacation. Yeah. Or like even swing down by the, like, the hotel zone and just like with that thing going on. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Yeah, I know. I like I've never been able to do that anything like that before. Also, you guys, how lucky were we with the whole mic? Oh thing my gosh. And everything. Oh, we you guys, still yeah. Were like, thank you so much. We seriously looked around for like 45 minutes. I'm not kidding you. Like, we were frantically looking everywhere, and because like there was like shadows on the sand and whatnot, and like this thing is like the size of a quarter, it was maddening that we found it. And by we, Brittany found it, but still. Why well, save the day? Yeah. And then. Actually, I was the one that lost it. Yeah, Brittany was the one that lost it, so good job for covering up your own mistake. I can't really toot my own horn too much. But I will toot this if this turns out good. So, okay, here is the straw. That could have gone so many ways. You'll toot it if it's good. Fast and perfect. Back it up. This is our late night cooking show, everyone, so there's going to be some jokes in here. But, okay. That. Okay, let's just go back to cooking. <laughs> Should I just stick yeah. with cooking? Yeah, let's just, let's just stick with cooking. Let's just stick with cooking. Okay. Actually, let's leave the cooking to Michelle. Oh my gosh, I'm a good 
<laughs> you are a good cook. She is. She's an amazing cook. <laughs> hey, Finn, do you want to move off daddy's bed tonight? He needs to lay there. I'll even throw out some extra blankets out there. Thank you. We don't have anyone in our guest you. tonight. I know. Oh my god. That's rare. Okay, I gotta get dinner going and then we'll get into all of the updates and things yeah. that are going on this week because we have quite a bit going on. But so it is a pasta dish. You could use like spaghetti squash if you're not eating carbs or like even just the sauce with like the chicken would be really good. When Michelle made it for us, we actually didn't have chicken, we just ate it vegetables. Mm -hmm. So there's no meat. So you can do meatless, you can just totally change it up to what you like. So what is going in here is gonna be spinach. We're gonna do some sliced mushrooms. If you don't like mushrooms, leave them out. We love mushrooms. I know. This made it so good if you're in a mushroom fan. Like, yeah. oh, it was so good with the mushrooms. And then cherry tomatoes, the borzen garlic herb cheese. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna throw in three to four cloves of garlic. I use the Trader Joe's crushed frozen garlic. Makes it so easy. Basil, oregano, salt and pepper a little oil, and we're gonna bake that in the oven. It's gonna make the most delicious, creamy sauce. You could probably just cook the chicken in the oven while the sauce is baking. Oh, that's in smart, yeah. Dish. I'm gonna do it in the air fryer. Yeah. But basically, I mean, just season your chicken with whatever. I thought it might be kind of good if we use the same spices, so I'm just gonna put some oregano and basil right on this chicken, just to like kind of tie it together. I think that might taste good. And if you are not air frying your chicken and you have an air fryer, oh my gosh, you guys, it makes it so juicy, crispy on the outside. It's like my favorite way to cook chicken now. Yeah, we it's so good. pretty much cook it almost every day, I would say. And I'm using avocado oil. You can totally use olive oil or whatever type of oil you like. Obviously, salt and pepper. Sous chef, check. <laughs> chef, chef, <laughs> check, check. I love when on the little chair. Just look at me, yeah. huh? You just want to be part of all the action. <laughs> okay, so I have everything all nice and washed. It's the best part of this recipe. If you are using already, pre-minced garlic and sliced mushrooms. You don't have to chop a thing besides yeah. the chicken. It's easy. Which I'm kind of sad about because I love using my new little chopper. If you yeah. remember, I get all my aggression out when I'm- She goes mad on that thing. <laughs> it is fun, though. <laughs> yeah, um, but I am glad I don't have to chop anything. Okay, so I'm using an entire bag of spinach. And I know that seems like a lot, and I guess it is, but it, it cooks down a ton, and it we are really trying does. to eat obviously a lot of greens and a little more healthy. So, just I'm because when visitors are in town, yeah. we tend to eat a little bit heavier. Yeah. So look at that nice bed of spinach right there, and then to that, I'm gonna add. I'm gonna see how many. The recipe calls for a cup, but I'm definitely doing more than a cup of tomatoes. We love tomatoes. And you don't even have to chop these because what's gonna happen is they're gonna just cook in the oven and they're gonna burst and then you're gonna kind of just mix them and they'll just melt like into a delicious sauce. Oh, that's so good. So we got our tomatoes and then we have our mushrooms. Now, like I said, you can totally leave these out. We love them. And so I'm gonna do. do less pasta than like veggies and chicken just to make it a little bit more Healthy. friendly yeah. on the carb side, but I think this would be really good with spaghetti squash. Yeah. As the noodles, or just Seriously. like zucchini noodles, or whatever, you know. Even that, that high protein noodles that from Costco we talked about. Watch this, this is the magic. We're just gonna put the entire little thing of cheese right in the middle there. It's like a bed of spinach for our cheese. Wow. And then, you guys, if you have never used this frozen garlic, I think they have it at grocery stores too, not just Trader Joe's but one of these little cubes is one clove of garlic. So it makes it super simple. And literally all you do is you just squeeze it out, see how it just pops right out. So I actually decided I did about six to seven cloves just because I'm doing more veggies than a clove for, and we love garlic. And because you don't like and it. And because there's you know, definitely yeah. gonna be no, uh, you know, <laughs> mouth to mouth action. <laughs> CPR, you mean? <laughs> yeah, there's definitely none of that going on tonight. Okay, so I have all of that, <laughs> and then, I'm just gonna sprinkle oregano. Now the recipe calls for a teaspoon. I'm gonna do more than that because I think it just tastes better with lots of spices. <laughs> I'm doing pretty measuring. That was definitely not a teaspoon. Measure with your heart, people. <laughs> yes, measure with your heart. We got our salt. Oh yeah, you can always add more salt at the end too. Brittany always says this, but smell-o-vision. Smell-o-vision. 
You guys, I wish you could see behind here. I got like half of the herbs all on the counter, so that's fun. <laughs> just the real side of cooking. <laughs> I almost just dropped that bottle. <laughs> that's so funny. Okay. The drop and, and then shatter. I'm gonna just sprinkle. So I'm using sprinkle, douse, whatever you guys want to call I'm it. I'm not Measure dousing your heart. it. This is probably like two. This is heart spoons. measuring right now. Two. That's probably like two tablespoons. Yeah, two monster-sized tablespoons. And you guys, that is literally it. We're gonna stick it in the oven at 350 for about 20 to 30 minutes. You can even bump it up probably to 375 if you want to cook it a little faster. I'm gonna drop my pasta. My chicken's going. You. Just like, you know. I know. Behind, you're, 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 that yeah. show? Chopped. chopped. And Finn on. Over here, okay. And Grab this. Finn's, Finn, like freaking out. Yeah, Finn's freaking out. What the heck's going on? <laughs> All right, watch this. See, I don't have to look at it, and I'm just dropping in the box. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I'm using a bow tie, this little mini farfali, 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 I think it's called. Farfal? Yeah. <laughs> mini whatever, little bow tie pasta, yeah. it's my favorite. But I know. Whatever kind of pasta I love bow ties. you want. So that's what I'm going to salt that. <laughs> And you guys, dinner is gonna be ready. And just like that. That smells delicious. Does it not smell so good? Look at this. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay, I gotta take a picture really quick for Instagram <laughs> before I stir it. Our chicken is done. I got it nice and chopped up, just small. And let me see here. Okay, I gotta get a photo here. Uh, video with the photo. Video <laughs> with the photo. All right, you guys, now the best part. Come here, Jer. You gotta hear this. Now we just like stir it. Oh my oh, god! That creamy goodness. Look at that, you guys. Do you see how all the spinach just totally melted down? Oh my gosh! It smells amazing. Like heaven in here. All right of our neighbors now. are gonna be mad jealous. Oh my goodness! <laughs> I'm glad we did a like lot a of creamy, mushrooms because yeah. look at that. That's like my favorite part with it. Well, like once you bake it, like it all gets so small. I know. Oh, gosh, so good. Okay. I could probably even let this go a little longer and smash some of these tomatoes just with my tongue. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. I need one of those things that you like mash. Oh, there we go. A masher? <laughs> I need one of those things that you can mash. Oh, you guys, it's late, okay? You know what, babe? No food for you. You made fun of me too much in this video. Oh, man. All right, now let's add our chicken in. Okay. Ready for this? Oh, my gosh. See how all the chicken? We did a lot of chicken. I think yes. we're gonna have more chicken than noodles, honestly. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna stir in the My chicken. My gosh, I forgot we had noodles. I know, but <laughs> you guys, they're baby noodles. Like, they're really, really small. I probably should have done bigger ones. I think spaghetti would be really good. Spaghetti noodles in this, too. That looks good. Or look, we could literally just eat it like this without any noodles. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It'd be delicious. But noodles but, make everything you better. Know, I'm gonna put in some noodles. Oh, you already got them. I already got them, yeah. They're ready. I just put a little oil in them so they wouldn't stick together while this is finishing. That's smart, baby. Nice. Okay, let's start with that and kind of mix it all in. You guys, should we do some ASMR? Bring the camera in close to <laughs> Ready? Oh, do you hear just the creaminess of everything? Would you hear more of that or the sound of our air conditioner? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or me breathing heavily. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> oh my gosh. How yummy does this look, though? Look at that. <gasps> oh. My goodness, I think that's like perfect. Yeah, Salt and pepper. Perfect. Oh, oh. steam, steamy. Okay, I'm gonna dish you up some. Okay. We are gonna see, hopefully, I mean, I'm not Michelle, so I probably didn't do it justice like Michelle. Michelle's yeah. probably watching this and laughing so hard. Yeah, it's probably true. Yeah, it's not gonna taste as good, this. but you know what? You know I what? can take one of the team. best, babe. Look at that. That looks oh, good. Whoa, I gotta, you know, clean up the presentation. Yeah. There you go, buddy. All right, and don't forget, I left a little chicken on the side for Finners. So, huh, you were smelling that cook the whole time. We can't forget about Finners. All right, I gotta get a little bit of everything here. All right, should we cheers? Bon appetit. Yeah. Bon appetit. Ooh, got some of the mushroom. That's spinach. Oh boy, that's a messy one. Oh boy. <laughs> cheers. Cheers. That was really Thank good. you. Thank <laughs> you. That is so that good. That was really good. <laughs> Make this tomorrow night or tonight. Wow. Run to the store, grab the ingredients. That it's is so creamy. Mad easy to make. I mean, I didn't make it, but I saw her <laughs> make it. And it looked really easy. And it tastes amazing. Oh, babe, thanks. Maybe you won't sleep on the couch tonight <laughs> after all. <laughs> Dang it.
<laughs> you know, my shoulders are a little sore. Maybe because it's a little like back rub or something. You know, <laughs> all that hard cooking. You know. <laughs> this mm. is really, really good though. I really like the chicken in it. This would also be good with like shrimp too, I think. Mm. Or no, chicken. Chicken. Yeah, chicken's really good. It's so, almost well, like a. When you put a shrimp in something, it makes it a little bit less. I don't know. The, the shrimp flavor. Yeah, seafood flavor. Yeah. It makes it more shrimpy, you guys. <laughs> Holy cow. Mm -hmm. All right, well, I'm sorry. I wish I could send you some right now. And I know it's sometimes hard watching other people eat, so. There you go. Oh, oh boy, Jared, shaky hands. I know. Shaky hands and I draw some. <laughs> it's okay, there's other stuff I gotta clean Oh, thank you. Anyways. Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, well, hopefully you enjoyed our little cooking video today, our late night off the rail yeah. cooking video. <laughs> We're gonna just turn it off before mm -hmm. you know it gets any crazier. But we are gonna dig into this. We love you. I will put the recipe down in the comments, a link to it. Everyone give this video a thumbs up for Michelle. We, we love, love you, sister. Michelle. She's the best. But we love you guys, and we will see you all next time. See you guys later. Bye. Bye.